Imagine your loved one in a blink of an eye grappling with life and death. Rush to the hospital, you sitting in the waiting room anxiously. Your faith, hope, trust placed in the physician's hand. One quick decision can save your loved one's life. The physician, burdened by the heavy weight of responsibility, burnt out and fatigued, struggling with depression for years, overcome by a wave of sadness, every decision clouded by self-doubt. I can't do this. I'm not good enough. As a clinical psychologist working with doctors for the past several years, I am far too familiar with the devastating consequences of untreated mental illness in doctors. Born out of a need to address mental health early in medical schools, my dissertation was set out to do two things. One, to develop a theoretical model that will help us predict depression and anxiety early in medical schools. And two, to use that model to offer policy changes and interventions. So you might ask yourself, why do we need a model? Why can't we just provide counseling to the students? The good news is we already have. Medical schools across the country are taking this seriously and offering support to their students. But we can do better. You see, for a long time, understanding and treatment of mental illness was focused on the individual, their personality and experiences. As a therapist, I can tell you that that matters, but so does the environment, especially for medical <coughs> students who spend countless hours at school or at hospitals. So, based on surveys from 219 medical students exploring their personality and training environment, my research has helped us identify both the personal and environmental factors that either increase the risk to depression and anxiety or even help protect against them. For example, we found that when students felt safe, supported, and connected, those were the most important protective environmental factors. When students felt perfectionistic, inadequate, or experienced abuse, their risks increased. It is with this new holistic understanding that my research is now offering policy changes and interventions that are both targeted and efficient so that when your loved one is in need of that one quick life-saving decision, that decision is not impacted by the heavy fog of untreated mental illness. Thank you.